Now, I'm sure if you clicked on this video, you're interested in making your own planner that fits in one of these, you know, the little Circa binders. And if you're like me, these planners are a godsend. I mean, it's not just for remembering birthdays and anniversaries. I have a to-do list each month of the things that I know comes up every year at that time, so I won't forget them. And then, of course, I add on daily or weekly to-dos also, and I keep a little journal of important events, and I even have uh, maintenance here for all the different plumbers, electricians, repair people, whoever that I might have to call. And I keep a lot of information here. My goals for the year, um, you name it, it's in here and it's always at my side when I'm home. But, you know, I used to buy stock pages and they really didn't meet what I wanted for my planner. And so over the years, I've developed what I like in a planner. So I want to show you how easy it is to make your own pages for your Circa planner and tailor your planner to what you need. Now I'm going to show you some templates for what I used and I'm going to give you the margins that you need, you know, the column space, you know, the, I should say the column width, the row height, all that type of thing so you can print easily and how to use your printer to print these pages. But it's up to you. You can customize these pages however you want to make a planner that works for you. These are what the templates are for. On the first page here, I have the to-do list for every month. Then when we open it up, okay, in your binder, I have the calendar month. Then on the back, I have the journal for the month where I note things that happen during the month that I might want to remember in the future. And of course, you can really customize this page to be whatever you need. Um, I use it for a lot of different things with just a different title. Step one, let's gather our supplies. Here are the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need paper, of course. And you might want to have a little bit higher grade of paper, but I wouldn't suggest cardstock because that could be too thick. Um, it may add too much bulk to your calendar. And this is eight and a half by 11. And a paper cutter is a great addition. So much easier to do this than to use scissors. And then you want a good punch that will fit your Circa. This one is by Levenger and it was under $30 and it really works great. I'm only putting in a couple pages at a time and I've had no problems with it. But if you were gonna use a heavier stock, like 10 pages at a time or more, then I wouldn't suggest this punch. And you might want a printed calendar for the year so it's easier to mark in the pages in your templates. And of course, you're gonna want your own Circa. Uh, this is mine, I've had it for a long time. I got it at Office Depot. And I've just added a little thing here for pens for marking and it also has a pen in here but I use this all the time. You're also going to need a printer for this project. In my case this is just an inexpensive HP Envy 5665. Oh yeah and one other thing you need to have some spreadsheet software. I'm using Excel but you could easily use Google Docs or whatever you have. Step two we need to cut our paper to size. Now for this project you're going to use eight and a half by 11 paper, but you're going to split it right in half to make A5 size paper. So you want to put the end of your, the long end to the five and a half mark here because five and a half inches times two is 11 inches, which is the width of this paper. So just put it in. Exact. And then you're just going to And now we end up with two pieces of paper exactly the same. You want to have quite a few pieces of paper for this project that is cut like this. This is called the A5 size. Step three, this probably takes the longest. We need to create our templates for the left and right pages for the calendar 
and left and right pages for other things such as journaling or to-do lists. Now it's important that you set up your page correctly. So here on this slide, I'm showing you the custom margins for the left page side. You'll see the left margin is 0.25 inches, the right is 0.5 inches, your bottom 0.4, your footer 0.3, and the top 0.25 inches, and the header 0.3. Now let's look at the right page. The top is 0.25 inches, the header is 0.3. This time your left margin is 0.7 inches and your right is 0.2 inches and the bottom is 0.5 and the footer is 0.3. So for your calendar pages, the month font I use was Berlin Sands FB and it is 36. And the day titles are bold, Calibri, 11 font. Number of rows on the page was 37 and the row height is 14.4. And the date numbers are in bold and again, it's Calibri, 16 font. Now when we take a little bit closer look at that page to look at your columns. So for your left page columns, your A, C, D, and E is a column width of 14.21. There's a little column in the middle between A and C, column B, and that is 2.21. Looking at your right side columns, columns A, B, C, and D are all column width 14.21. The to-do list I print on the right page, the back page of, let's say, January calendar. The column A here is 3.16, and the column B width is 53.89. And then on the little bottom here, I'm showing you how many rows you have and where the A and B lines up. And in the back side of each month calendar, I use a journal page. And again, the journal A column width is 3.16, and the column B width is 53.89. Step four, printing. Be sure when you're doing this project, you select A5 as your paper. And that A5 measurement is 5.83 inches by 8.27 inches. So basically, it's a half of an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Now, something I learned the hard way was I tried to print a page and then all of a sudden all these blank pieces of paper would be spewing out of my printer. So you have to make sure that you highlight the area that you want to print and then set your print area under the page layout so you get that view. Then check under print and it should show you exactly what it's going to be. And if that page setup is more than one, you want to go back and re-highlight your layout. So I hit the paper in. Back on. So you'll notice we have the arrow here and up. That meant we put it into the printer that way. And it printed on the reverse side, and this is the top part. So now you know how to line up your pages. Now we're going to print January, so you can see how that is, and really how easy it is. We are going to print the to-do list, which is using the right-hand template and then our calendar will be using both the left and right and on the back of the right page of January we will have the journal page. So here goes. So here you can see we have the pages side by side. They're perfect. And they're going to go on the binder. On the opposite side is journal. On the opposite side of here is to do. So now all we have to do is punch them. Step five, punching our printed pages. So if you can see, there's a little stopper here, and you want to line up your paper with that. So you just click this, click this, click this, take it out, and there you have it. Perfect here. Oh, let me just take that one out a little. Yeah, you have it.
have your pages exactly as you need them. And step six, customize. Now, feel free to customize your planner however you want. You can use your stickers, you can use your markers and have artwork, whatever you want to make this your planner. So I use clip art on the various pages. Like here's August, I put a nice sun wearing sunglasses. So that's it for the tutorial. I hope you will make your own planner for 2019 and the years to come and be happy that you have something that completely meets your needs and you made it. So pat yourself on the back. This is Prepper Popery saying, share the knowledge and thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you.